This is Arts Alive, I'm Linda Philippi, and my guest today is Ann Durley, who is a, I'm gonna just say it, world-renowned clockmaker, and we have to say world-renowned because your clocks are all over the world, isn't they that right? They literally are. I they love have, it. We've been shipped, they've been shipped in, I don't know, Australia, Japan, England, Germany, France, China, uh, just all over the world. That is incredible, and, and it's, not because you have a big website that you're oh, no. marketing to. <laughs> no, it's no, because no. people are literally coming to you. Right. I have here. Yeah, here at Currents Gallery, they rep well, they represent me and uh, people come in and shop and they want a clock and they can't take it home with them in their suitcase and so we ship it to them. See, I think that's really fabulous that this art gallery in McMinnville, Oregon, you know, center of the known universe, as I always tell everybody, uh, that you've got clients literally all over the world. They've come here specifically to, you know, enjoy our town right. and do wine country and all right. the fun things that there are, but they find you while they're here. And tell me, you said you've made over 1,700 clocks. I have. I've made over 1,700 clocks. Wow. And, um, and I'm not slowing down. Okay. I <laughs> I don't know when when I would ever quit, but it's it's still uh, one of the joys of my life to do this. I love I it. I enjoy going out to my workshop every day, and to me, it's just play. It's just like I go out to a playhouse, and I have all this stuff to play with. Not toys, but same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I get to play with things. Well, so like, tell me a little bit about your background, how you came to clocks and okay. how you do it and something about that. Okay. Well, I'm actually a retired antique dealer. Oh, okay. And when I retired, uh, I had all kinds of stuff left over that was interesting stuff, but not really worth anything. Nobody really wanted to buy them. And, and so uh, I needed something to do with that stuff. And I'm not too sure exactly from how it went quite from there to clocks, but but it did. I just realized that if I put stuff together, it was very interesting and, and, and people liked it and everything, but it wasn't very sellable. But once you put a clock on it, it made it functional. So you so you kind of started with maybe yeah. something like this, right. minus right. the top, just like as a little collage piece. Absolutely. And it was kind of, meh, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. But then with a the clock, boom. Yeah, people are not afraid to buy art that is functional. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of fear with buying art. You know, you're, you're afraid, well, I've spent too much money. This isn't really any good. All my friends are going to laugh when they see it in my house and everything. There's no fear to buy clocks. You know, I'm going to tell you a clock story. I had this one funky little clock that I, I mean, and it was kind of like, it had that same piece as yours do where you put the battery in the back. Sure. And it was really cute and it was metal and it was this, that, and the other. And somehow or another, it got knocked over, stomped on, I don't even know what, but broken. And I've kind of been heartbroken ever since. So I'm thrilled to find you because now I know where I can get a clock. Yes, well, you can also bring your old clock and see if I can just, if it just needs a new movement, we can take care of it. You oh, might, I, think, I think it might be beyond redemption okay. at this point. But. Yeah, well, I'll show you that. So all the okay. clocks are, are you, they just have the little quartz movements. Yeah, yeah. They work wonderful. One battery lasts about a year or more. You put another battery in. And since I've been doing this for so long, I know that they continue to work for for mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah, so I've been doing it for over ten years. Re remember so. the old, like the old Timex takes a licking and keeps yeah. on ticking, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> these these do tick uh, with the uh, uh, the they they will make very slight like sounds. Tick, tick, yeah, tick, yeah, tick. yeah, I like that though. Well, I do too, but I do have people that do not like that sound. If you take the second hand off, that will almost eliminate the sound. You know, when my grandson was a little boy in, in, in our guest room where he stayed when he came over, there was a clock and it was one of those old fashioned wind up kind of sure. tick, tick, tick. And it just freaked him out. I think he thought of it was, you know, like, uh, uh -huh. what do you want to say? Uh, <laughs> some Captain monster, Hook. Some the monster going to come yeah, get Captain him. Yeah, Captain Hook and the alligator, <laughs> something like that. So I'd always take the clock out when he came to visit. Yeah. But, but yeah, these, these are quiet. 
Yeah, so, so the big thing about my clocks, uh, as I was saying, almost every piece in my clocks has had a previous life. Okay. So this one, we'll talk, I'll talk about it for just a second. Sure, please. This is, this is a wonderful old clock case. And oh, you can yeah. even see if you, you can't really read it. But there's the, the original label is still in it. The clock itself was... Oh, that's the back side of it. The, that's the back side oh. of it. There would have been a door here. Okay. And then the clock actually would have been in this area. Okay. But that's not how I wanted to do it. Uh -huh. So it's a wonderful little clock case. And then I just added and I these things. And I don't know where, what, what this originally was, but he's cute. I mean, it looks like, you know what that reminds me of? Actually, it looks like something that you would see on Antiques Roadshow. And they'll be like, <laughs> and it's worth $50,000. <laughs> trust <know? laughs> me. Trust me. That doesn't <laughs> happen. <laughs> you but would know. It, yeah, and the globe. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everybody likes globes. Sure. That piece right Right there, the is the only new piece that I and I just got that because I love the color of it. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was really wonderful. Well, it sets everything off. It, well, it does. It, adds a little, it does. It gives a little dash to it. Yeah, a little and pop. even the clock face, even though mm -hmm. it looks really nice, it is what's known as new old stock. It's an old clock face that had never been used. Oh, okay. And so uh, it makes just the perfect clock. And it's actually a porcelain face, and mm -hmm. so this is this is a one of my new clocks, and it's uh, one of my really. And then this one is is the same kind of thing, except it's entirely different. Mm -hmm. This is the background is an old abstract painting that was really horrible. Now that I can see it, yes, I can see the can the stretched canvas. And yes, sure. yes. Okay. So and anyway, uh, this is an old uh, hanger. An old wooden hanger. Right? Oh, gosh. Wow. Yeah. And so, I mean, I love it because it has, I love the arch mm -hmm. on it, you know. And these are what, these were old, um, uh, they used to measure for the right size frames for your glasses. Oh, okay, okay. So that's what this is. Oh, yeah, right. And this is, this will actually open up. Oh. And this is just an, a really old photograph and a decoy, just the head of a decoy. I what more do you need? Right? And then the clock, and it works. It's kind. They're kind of amazing. It is. It's it, really cool. It is. And so, do you have a number of these down at Currents Gallery? I do. Currents Gallery always has a lot of my clocks, mm -hmm. and uh, in fact, they're on the in the gallery. Mm -hmm. But if you're interested. You can ask somebody. There's always a few more in the back, kind of in in reserve. Okay. So there's there's probably like at least, that back studio back yeah, there. Yeah. About a biz, probably at least a dozen oh, at, wow. any, at okay. any given time. And then I was telling you in August I will be the featured artist, and uh, I will have a great big whole wall to to do. And I will last time I did the show I think I had 45 clocks for it. Wow. And so. And did you did you sell quite a few of them? I did. I oh sold, my gosh! I sold probably fifty percent of them. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. But uh, I've been doing it long enough, and I have uh, uh, some really dedicated fans, and that kind of look forward to them and come rushing in, and some of them buy them. That works well. You know, and I'm thinking about this that we were just speaking before we went on air about the fact that you know tourism has been down the yes. last few years, et cetera. So it, I, I'm really anticipating that we're going to have a lot of influx of tourists this summer. I hope so. Here, I do too. But this might be the perfect opportunity for the locals to get over there and see what you've got before the out-of-towners snap yeah. up all the good yeah. stuff. Yeah, I think uh, the out-of-towners not being as many has, has had a little bit of effect. Mm -hmm. And uh, shipping cost, they have just ballooned. I don't know what, why. And I know that I, uh, last summer, last August when, we, when I did the show, somebody wanted a clock and we checked with shipping and it was going to be, it was really very expensive because it was a kind of a heavy clock. And so what I suggested the customer do, they were, they had flown in from somewhere and I said, it's not that big a clock. It's heavy. It's not that big. Just buy another little bitty suitcase and you can check it through for $25. Right. Or you can pay eighty or ninety for mm -hmm. shipping, and they did, and it was worked out yeah, really that's well. Perfect, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. And if you buy one small enough, you could get that in a carry-on. Probably. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to tell you one other sure fact about the clocks, and this is how I know how many I've made. The first clock I ever made was I. It had an A and a one, and it was A one, and that's how I number my clocks. 
I go to a every letter in the alphabet and they get 99 letters. Okay. So I can tell you these are fairly recent clocks and this one, let me find it, I gotta find it. So 26 times 100 is 2600, so you must be on what? 17. X? I, no, I'm on uh, Q. Okay. So you can see there's the Q and there's 34. Oh wow, okay. And I don't know where, oh here it is, this is Q20. So I can say that this is 1,720. <laughs> But but most I most love it. Of, most of the customers that have bought clocks from me know that, and they're always come into the gallery and look for the numbers and find where they are. And what I really love is that occasionally people will have a problem with a clock, and they will bring it back and have me work on it. And I love it when they bring really old clocks, and I you know it's kind of like oh there's my old friend B fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So I have a lot of fun in a lot of ways with this. That's really incredible. I mean, and, and you work from your studio in Independence. You I do. Said? Okay. I do. Mm -hmm. So do you have like a dedicated studio that I do? You walk in and you will. Oh my God! Look at all this. Stuff. That's right. You absolutely do. There mm -hmm. is there. Uh, I I don't have very many guests to my studio because literally. You can't get around. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one a, of those. Kind it's of, a one-person yeah, studio, right. you know, like that. And and the space I have to actually work on clocks is fairly small, but it's it's big enough and mm -hmm. everything. And I have lots and lots of tools, but then I have cabinets full of stuff, amazing stuff. Now, are you that kind of you know encyclopedia mind that you can remember exactly where that thing is that you want. No, and that drives me crazy. So then you're picking and scrambling yeah, yeah. through. Oh. A lot of things are organized. Mm -hmm. I, ha I do have uh, drawers, mm -hmm. uh, and all the drawers are all organized. There's only Monopoly pieces, oh, okay. or there's only finials or something in, mm -hmm. in this drawer. Right okay. And I do know that, but a lot of the other stuff is not. And I know, though, what I kind of have. And what drives me crazy is I'm working on a clock, and I know I need that piece and I can't find it. <laughs> I just had a wild thought. You know how people do like uh, memory bo shadow boxes, what do they call them for, mm -hmm. you know, my loved one who's gone and we've got this and we've got this and we've got this. If somebody brought you a bunch of stuff, could you make a clock with it? No, and the, the thing is, I uh, when I first started, I actually did try to do commission clock. Mm -hmm. People would say, okay, I want this for Uncle Joe, and mm -hmm. this is what I'd like in it and everything, and sometimes they'd give me things. And what happened, unfortunately, and you could tell it when I handed them to them, they weren't pleased. Oh. Uh, for whatever reason. Oh, and you'd glued things. And, well, yeah, 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 and there was no way. I mean, it was the clock for them. They still had to take it because mm -hmm. I couldn't sell Uncle mm -hmm. Joe's clock to anyone else. Right. And the disappointment was... was Palpable. It was. <laughs> I mean, some people were thrilled, but some people weren't. Okay, and so and, you just said no. And I said no. So <laughs> this is kind of a little funny story, but there was a woman who came in before Christmas, and she wanted a clock, and she told me what she wanted. I said, I'm sorry, I don't do custom clocks. Well, the, I'm, I usually stick to it, but she just, she came two or three times, and she, you know, just She kinda, wore you down. She did, she did. <laughs> so I, what I did, as I told her, I would, uh, she wanted a clock with specific things on it, and I would do that, and she wanted it at a certain price range, and I said, I'll do that. And I said, I'll bring the clock in, and it'll be in the gallery. You come in and you look at it, and if it work, works for you, you buy it, and we're all happy. If not, somebody else will buy it at some point. And she came in, and uh, I was there, and she said, this is exactly what I want, except that I'd like the clock longer. It was, you know, it was this big, and she wanted a long, thin clock. And I said, well, this just reinforces don't do custom work. There's just, I mean, I had exact, I mean, she admitted I had exactly what she wanted in the clock, but the clock itself wasn't what she wanted, the size. And so, no custom work. I got it. Yeah. I think that's smart. <laughs> I think so, too. Otherwise, I'd probably be, you know, in a ball crying. Cause right. I, well, you know what? It saves your sanity, and you and and then you know what you like to do as an artist, how you like to work, how you like to create, and you want to feel free. Yeah. You don't want to feel like you're under the gun, you know. Try well, I wouldn't mind doing custom work mm -hmm. if I knew exactly that they were going to be happy with it mm -hmm. but when they tell me what they want and then they actually see it and it's not exactly what they have in their mind's eye mm -hmm. 
It doesn't work. You need a Vulcan mind meld. Yeah. Like, I need that's to see something. that. Yeah. Right? Or they need to be in my workshop while I'm working on it, which would never, ever, ever work. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't work. So no custom clocks. Well, Anne, I thank you very much for being here today. And this has been amazing. I love getting to know you. I love seeing your clocks. And I completely understand 100% how you feel about the commission. So, <laughs> so thank well, you so much. Yeah, well, come on down to Currents. I will. And, and see more. I will. All thank right. you. You're welcome. Thank you very much.